Welcome to Vintage Motor Cars in Westbrook, Connecticut. Today we're starting a series on a 41 Oldsmobile Woody that we did for a client of ours in Paris, France. Um, very well known collector, mainly collects Nashes. And he happened, I guess, to hear about this car. And uh, due to the rarity of it, he wanted to have us restore it, which was uh, quite an honor. As you can see, the car looks pretty good. The, a lot of the wood is wrong, like that piece you just see there, there's supposed to be a finger joint there uh, on both sides right in the middle, and there isn't. Uh, years down, somewhere along the way of life of this car, they had somebody do some work to it and they didn't do, we'll say restoration quality of work uh, that they didn't do. This car was extremely deceiving. It looked like a really good car. When it first came in, I was like, uh, I don't see why this car needs to be restored. It's a nice driver. I mean, it's rare, but it, it really didn't have a great patina to it because it, it was redone and it wasn't redone to the highest standards. But what I did know, and anybody can get deceived that I guess on certain things, is that the other side of the car looked pretty good. But when we started doing the metal work, it was all covered up. Uh, it was covered up in such a way that you really couldn't tell until you had it apart. Uh, you'll see that in the upcoming videos. We, we'll probably have like six series on, on this car and also some pictures. But uh, it's a good lesson in, in knowing that <laughs> you know, anybody can get fooled and they can. Uh, people do a lot of things to make these cars look like something they're not. The metal work wise on the body and fenders was pretty good. It really was the whole under the whole underside of the car of four pin was completely shot. They used copper tubing to make it look like ridges. They split the copper tubing. It was just it was just amazing. But this car went on to um, win awards in, 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 in Paris after we were finished with it, which you'll which like again you'll see in the upcoming videos. But at least this is the start of it. Uh, there is one segment here that's a little bit off. It shows our upholster, should be coming up here pretty soon, shows our upholster doing a seat, which is a little out of order, but um, the other videos are not in out of order. Uh, matter of fact, maybe that might not be the seat to this car. I'm not sure now that I uh, take a look at it, but it, no matter what, we're, <laughs> we're not ready to do upholstery on this car. so. Stay tuned and there will be more videos coming of as we start to take it apart. Again, Richard Willard, Vintage Motor Cars, Westbrook, Connecticut.